They have tried, they have come with a different type of clothing, mini skirts. Some have come with the, uh, transparent glass clothes. <laughs> you will not understand whether it's a glass or it's a dress which they are wearing. But they failed. Now, let me tell you, Vanawang. Don't be afraid of me. I am strong and complicated. You cannot, a prostitute cannot get me. Church prostitutes cannot get me. They have tried. If you think you can crack prophet Jesus, try. You will waste your years, 20 years trying. You will never succeed. You can't succeed. Me, I am not a symbol. You, you think, look at me very well. You think me, I can remove my jacket to hug you. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Me. To kiss a woman who is not my wife. <laughs> I, it's better I go and sleep at home. I don't understand why it's so easy for you to strip a woman naked who is not your wife, my son. You are too simple. And you, my daughters, married woman, can you come here? Married woman, eh? a married woman who is working. Someone's husband who will touch your breast, ta, and, <laughs> and you giggle. <laughs> Foolish daughter. You are not a daughter of Prophet Blessed Jesus. A married woman who is the, a, a boss at work. And you give, <laughs> ah, you a man, you a don't. <laughs> ah, don't touch. Uh, yet you have got a ring of a wedding in your finger. You are an embarrassment. You are an embarrassment to the kingdom of God. <laughs> what an embarrassing daughter. Can I go a little bit deeper? Can I go a little bit deeper? You know, as a woman, when a man looks at you, he has to think for five years on how to get at you. Not as simple as three seconds. Now, now hear me very well. I, I, what I know is a a, a true Christian who is a girl or a daughter or a woman, a man must approach you and it must take time before you say yes. He must hunt you down. Not a man who has not even said I love you is just going straight to your breast. I, I, I. A man who has never proposed to you is going straight to touch your breast. And you are smiling at that. <laughs> I was in the car. I am married, man. You know, when heaven looks at some of you, your simplicity is. Angering God. That how long shall you remain simple like that? How long shall you love your simplicity? I think you are now getting my message a little bit. Huh? Hello? The reason why, I'm sorry, people are getting HIV today it's because they are too simple. 
The Bible says you will not know until the, the, an arrow strikes your liver. What you are doing, you don't know it's, cost, it's going to cost your life. Proverbs 7, verse 23. You are doing it till an arrow will strike your liver. You are like a bird that is hastening to a snare. And you do not know that it will cost your life. So I know things that will cost my ministry. I have been taught, I have been trained, I know things that will cost my life. And as a man of God, I don't want anything that costs my life. Now, can I show you something? There are two men in the Bible. There is Joseph and there is Samson. On Samson, I only want the anointing that he had, but I don't like his simplicity. Because Samson was too simple for the anointing to be on him. Well, Samson was very anointed, but yet simple. That's why he died young without fulfilling his call. He is the only man of God who died at a very young age, probably before he turned 40 years. Why? Because he's the only man who had a powerful anointing, but yet he could allow his anointing, his head, he would put his head on the lap of a prostitute without a problem. He laid his head, headship, head is headship. Your head is symbolic to leadership and headship. He took his leadership and put it on the lap of Delilah. And he was shaved. And the secret of the anointing was removed. His hair was removed. And Samson died a blind man. They gorged out his eyes. Because it was too simple. You could get him. Any woman could get him. I think also when you get anointed, you also need security that matches your anointing as well. So that people don't just come near you. Yeah, because my security people are trained. They are not guarding prophet. They are guarding the anointing. The anointing on a man of God. So that it's not easy to just come and get that. Boys, now hear me very well. Can you write this? Can you write this down? Can you write? It's very difficult to get anointing. Yet it's very easy to lose it. It's very simple to lose it. It's difficult to get the anointing even of becoming a business person. It takes years of giving, sacrificing. Pledging, giving your pledges to God, tithing until your business now is an anointing where you are now making a lot of money. Until your life is full of blessings, until your ministry is full of power and glory. But it's easy to lose it. Even young people who are singing, it's very difficult to get the anointing where you can sing and demons come out. It takes years. But do you know that you can lose that anointing that you got for years in 24 hours? 24 hours. The Holy Spirit will depart your temple. He will depart your body. I like Joseph. Joseph was a slave in the physical, but he was a governor mentally. He came into Potiphar's house. Potiphar was a powerful satrap of the king, near a governor, slave. He had a wife that was very beautiful, but the wife was simple. So I'm saying being married to a prosperous men or being educated does not mean you are complicated. Say, I know she has a master's degree, but do you know that that person with a master's degree and a big mansion in a hillside, she is sleeping with a garden boy? Yet she is married also. But when the husband is away, she sleeps with the garden boy. She gets 7,000 U.S. dollars 
per month, the garden boy gets $150 per month, yet he can touch the breast of that woman at any time when the husband goes. This woman in Proverbs 9 seated at a very high position. The husband was a big man. I think she's the same one who is repeated in chapter 7, who says, my husband has gone on a journey. Come, let's fill ourselves with love till the morning. He has gone on an appointed. He will come on an appointed day, which means this man was a businessman who would go for a long time to do business out. And he would come back after some time, but he didn't know that his wife behind his back was doing these little foolish, simple things calling men, walking by the street, going on their own way and say, come and sleep with me. What type of a woman is this? What type of a church is that? The zip of your trousers must be anointed. It must be sacred. I told you, man, that the zip of your trousers, the only time when it must go down is when you are going into the toilet and going to your wife. Two. I did zip deliverance to men. Sometimes I said, everyone, touch your zip. You were the elder. You saw how men were manifesting demons. Because their zip goes down, up, down, up, up, down. Every time, willy-nilly. No. They are not, they are simple, simple, simple. Even your zip now knows you that you are simple. That's why sometimes it goes down on its own without you putting it down. It, yaku toku derera zipi yaku chaisha. It now despises you. It's loose every time. Because these things are spiritual. You are too simple for heaven. With this type of behavior, you can't go to heaven, I'm telling you. Potiphar was a wife of a great person. Joseph was a slave. But I began to ask myself, who was a slave? Potiphar's wife and Joseph. Who really was a slave in the spirit? It was Potiphar's wife. Because Joseph, it was just a natural situation, a natural circumstance, but inside his mind, he was seeing a governor's position. He knew inside that he was a great man. And it was not easy for Potiphar's wife to get Joseph. Do you know that the Bible says, she lasted after Joseph for so many years, for so many days. She tried many times to get Joseph until she was frustrated. One day she wanted even to rape Joseph. When you see a woman wants to rape a man, Joseph had to run through the wind. And the woman was so angry and she went to the husband and said, Joseph wanted to rape me. And the man was so angry and he put Joseph in prison. Yet it was the wife. But Joseph was with God and God was with him. And Joseph was removed from the prison and he went straight to become a governor through a dream that he had interpreted. Because when we are with God, God will always vindicate you. He was not an easy young man. He was not an easy man to get. Do you know now, look at me very well. Do you know whenever the devil comes, men hear me very well, even women. The devil knows your destiny. He knows where you are going with God. And when you see a woman coming to sleep with you, don't celebrate that there is a beautiful woman, there is Potiphar's wife coming. No, the devil can use anyone to get your destiny. No matter how big they are, he can send you a president's wife to deal with your spiritual destiny. Because your spiritual destiny is more important to the devil than having sex. So he can give you any woman to sleep with you and you to enjoy thinking you are sleeping with this woman not knowing the woman is sleeping with your destiny. 
She is sleeping with your destiny. If Joseph had slept with Potiphar's wife, Joseph was not going to become a governor. Because the devil would have already stolen the governor position, the governor destiny through intimacy with someone's wife. So the devil is stealing your prosperity. Your future is being destroyed today by the things that you are doing in life. <laughs> 